Hello, good morning friend. Today we have to discuss with common dialog box control in vv.map. The basic thing is that a common dialog box control, these are the group of built-in dialog boxes that is used in the Windows applications. Basically, their purpose is to reduce the developer's time and work. There are many built-in dialog box to be used in Windows Phone for various tasks like opening and saving files, printing a page, providing choices for color, forms, page setup, etc. To the user of an application, these built-in dialog boxes reduce the developer's time and work. All of these dialog box control classes inherits from common dialog class and overrides the run dialog method or function of the base class to create a specific dialog boxes. The show dialog method is used to display all the dialog box controls at runtime. Now you can see through the diagram common dialog boxes. Those are having the further divisions in that color dialog, font dialog and then in file dialog you are having two patterns open file dialog and save file dialog and print dialog and paste setup dialog. These all are being used for different different purpose as its name has been specified. Now the color dialog box we discuss first. The color dialog control class represent a common dialog box that displays available color along with controls that enables the user to define custom color. It lets the user select a color. The main property of the color dialog control is color which is which return a color object. You can see the diagram of the color dialog control that will be there. Except this we are having many more dialog controls like font dialog control in that it prompts the user to choose a font from, um, from among those installed on the local computer and lets the user select the font, font size and color. It returns the font and color objects. By default the color combo box is not shown in the font dialog box. You should set the show color property of the font dialog control to be true. Then only the color for the font will get displayed. It has most important properties color and font. For color, get subsets the selected font color and font gates or sets the font. These things will be there that we have to accept this. We are having other things open dialog control. That open dialog control that is basically for what it gives the open dialog box to the user directly or we can say the open file dialog control prompt the user to open a file and allow the user to select a file to open the user can check if the file exists and then open it. The open file dialog control class inherit from the abstract class file dialog. And you can see open dialog box will be there. Save file dialog control. The save file dialog control prompts the user to select a location for saving a file and allows the user to specify the name of the file to save data. The save file dialog control class inherits from the abstract class file, file dialog. Now we are having at the last print dialog control. The print dialog control lets the user to print documents by selecting a printer 
and choosing which section of the document to print from a window form application. There are various other controls related to printing of documents. Print document, print preview control, page setup dialog, print preview dialog, printer setting, etc. All those common dialog controls tools we have discussed that we will discuss with examples in next video. Here the only the basic information is to be provided. That's why I have used those concepts here to show the basic concept of all those common dialog boxes. If you like this video then like it and also subscribe it and for further improvement kindly give a proper comments for this. Thank you. Have a nice day.